What's going on everyone? Coin Roll King here. And before we get into today's video on what I'm going to be sharing with you guys, I've got two really cool coins that I picked up at my local coin shop after returning from my trip. So I'm going to share those with you guys. But first, I want to give you a look at what is to be one of yours. All right. So one of your, one of you guys will have a chance at winning this lucky set of five coins and these here are going to be in all silver so the nice thing about that is this is going to go to one person these are 40 percenters um, and you might have seen my shorts about them already all i ask for you guys to have a chance at these is that you are subscribed and that you leave a comment either in this video or in one of my shorts and uh, just confirm with me or just wait for me to put a green check mark on your comment and pretty much that means that I've written your name down you are entered into the drawing I'm also going to be giving away uh, a few additional coins one of them here is going to be this um, really nice example of a 74D. I believe this is, yeah, this is a D here. And it's just a really nice all around coin. So the reason that I'm throwing in this and a few other things, I'm thinking maybe one or two more coins, is we had originally anticipated doing the 250 subscriber giveaway. Uh, so that's why we had these here. This was for the 250th subscriber since the um, actual drawing went over and I wasn't able to basically get that done on time again just busy with life and making awesome content for you guys we're gonna be throwing in those additional coins so make sure you're subscribed make sure you, if you haven't already in a short leave the, a comment and just write on there you know that you'd like to enter or something like that or why you like the channel or it doesn't really matter you can put a smiley face or a chicken leg in the comments. It really, really doesn't matter, but just let me know in some way with, with an emoji and like a enter thing. And then that way you can just enter me an emoji and, uh, or whatever. It doesn't even have to be an emoji. Like I said, let me know in one way or another that you want to enter into the drawing and we will get your name written down. Uh, it is a 300 subscriber giveaway so again the chances of this giveaway more people subscribing is definitely uh, something that is very possible so again just the sooner that you enter the faster I can write your name down and uh, we'll probably be drawing a winner around I want to say around September 10th or 15th we'll figure it out somewhere in there I think is a good sweet spot it gives everybody a chance to have a you know an, an submission and here we're gonna get right into our first coin all right this here is going to be a 1910 barber dime <laughs> I had to check I was too busy focusing on all the other goodies but this one here I do have some info that I kind of pulled up for it this was just something that um, in the in the condition that it's in makes sense very good on average online these are going for about six to eight bucks if I'm not mistaken um, for the 1910 and let's see here the 1910 barber dime we are gonna have for production on this one drum roll please 1910 I'm assuming this is going to be a 1910 Philly because I didn't see any mint mark on here. So 1910 is basically going to be, let's see, 11,520,000 coins. So these were uh, the most produced of this year, uh, followed by the 1910D, which was 3,490,000, and the 1910S, which was 1,240,000. So definitely a 1910S is uh, probably the key year to have of this actual collection here. Uh, let's see what else I found on this one. Some tidbits I took from the internet. Uh, I think most of it was just in between here and there. 
Um, and then for this piece, yeah, kind of to go hand in hand, uh, they have it online. I guess it's AppMex. They have one for sale for $6.24 as of this recording. And this is the end of August 2022. So just in case the channel ever blows up, we, we have a reference date there for the price. Something like this, um, oh, the 19S we were looking at, which is the more rare of all of them, in a very fine condition though, which is a lot more detail than this, is online, same website, for $93. So definitely something to consider, you know, all of that. This, I guess, wouldn't be, as far as numismatic value, it wouldn't be high up there compared to the other ones. But Again, I do like the fact that it's silver, and I definitely already overpaid for a dime. Uh, if you guys know anything about me, I try to get as much bang for the buck as I can. So most of it is, when it's in dimes, it's Roosevelt's. I've gotten those for about 2 to $3 a piece. Um, and then I've also gotten, I got lucky a, a while back ago. I got some, picked up some Mercury dimes for about 3 bucks, and some of them were in better condition as well. But... This was the first of the two coins that we picked up at the local coin shop here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the other one, I think. I don't have too much more on this one. Yeah, I guess this one, yeah. Good condition, four bucks. Uncirculated would be 75, but again, this is definitely seen as circulation. So getting right into the other coin, kinda wanna show it to you guys, but then I kinda wanna take it out of the the holder that it's in so give me a second here I'm not trying to purposely build up any suspense or anything but this would be the second coin that I bought and this is going to be a coin from 1893 so I'll read you a little something that I found from uh, I found on Google and it's from uh, silverrecyclers.com is the person or the website that wrote it on this so here we have the 1893 Colombian half dollar. And on this one, this is, uh, they grade it at my local coin shop in almost uncirculated condition. So this one here, I got it for 30 bucks, as you can see it there. And I'll read you a little something that these people here, uh, silverrecyclers.com, had to say about it. The 1893 Colombian half dollar is worth about $20 in uncirculated condition. In, uh, oh, in, yes, uh, in uncirculated condition, these coins sell for around the following. $27 with an MS60 grade, $120 with a MS63, and $325 with an MS65. $800 for an MS66, and there were roughly 100 brilliant proof coins minted. So if you can imagine this coin, if you had one that was, I guess, brilliant proof struck, you'd probably be rolling in dough. So I don't know if I looked up the price for one of those, but I could imagine that you'd be sitting pretty well there. And then here we have the reverse, I guess. Or would this be the, yeah, this would more than likely be the reverse. Can't believe I still get that mixed up. But here we have the, I guess this would more than likely be Columbus's ship, the Columbian Exposition or world's what does it say world's columbian exposition chicago i'm not sure if that's what they meant to say so you have the ship sailing over i guess what would be all seven continents is what they're trying to show there 1492 and then 1893 so and of course 1893 the year that this was minted i'm gonna take a guess and say that that was 1492 was when Columbus was out there doing all this good stuff so let me know if I was wrong because I haven't read my history book in a while but yeah feel free to check that out in case you know leave it in the comments that way I'm not misinforming anybody but yeah this coin here was just something that I thought was really neat the coin that it's the condition that the coin is in sorry that was a tongue twister this condition I thought was fair I guess after reading uh, what they had to say, I can imagine I did overpay for this one uh, by a few dollars, especially if a lower mint state should be going for about $27. Uh, 
Again, though, that is a website that I haven't really relied on in the past, so I'm not sure how accurate I should take their price, uh, their price guide, or their you know their rating. But at the end of the at the end of the day, I mean, guys, guys and gals, I just I think this this coin is is in a little bit better condition than than what they gave it. I guess it at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Um, the the ones that would be probably like the ultimate best ones to find was those uh, brilliant struck ones that they were talking about. If they only minted a hundred of those, those are probably extremely rare. But nonetheless, this was a really cool one. Um, if I have this in my collection, I think I only have one other one, and I'm positive they made it in at least a few years. So um, I wanted to make sure that I had at least one more of these uh, because I think the last one of these that I had I think I found one and it was um, actually inside of a 50 cent piece so it's when I was going through a half dollar box and I found it uh, just like that now unfortunately I do remember that I did find that in a 50 cent box and now that I remember that I realized that that was so long ago I actually wasn't making YouTube videos so I'll see if I can some somehow find a clip um, I was trying to start YouTube around that time and that was a few years back and then I just never took off but I will see if I can find that clip so with your guys's help like I said we will get to a thousand subscribers at the end of this year and I won't have to give away 40 percenters actually I'll tell you guys what I also said it in another uh, video but if we can get to a thousand subscribers, I'll let you guys pick if you want a Morgan dollar or if you want a peace dollar. And um, I'm sure there'll also be a few other goodies to go along with the 1000 subscriber giveaway. So if you know anybody who would enjoy the channel, just make sure you share it with them. You guys can both benefit from it and um, maybe win some silver along the way. So. Again, I appreciate all of you guys watching this. Like I said, we're going to be doing at least these five 40 percenters and this uh, Ike, Ike or Eisenhower dollar. And uh, like I said, we'll find one or two more goodies to go with it for this 300 subscriber set. And this one is ready to go. So again, enter below, hit that like button, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.